Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. What? A man of words <laughs> and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. I would have even thought. Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Thanks a lot for taking the time out to watch the episode. I hope you're doing well. My name's Mac. Um, so since the last episode, uh, we got a new horse. Uh, we traded in Bruce. He was a bit of a dopey bugger. Uh, we got some new clothes and a couple of new weapons. So what we're going to do this episode is we're going off with Trelawney. He's... You know me. I like to make friends in low places. There's Sadie. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Right, well, let's Trelawney uh, have a little chat to Arthur. Uh, when we're a bit nearer to the contact, we will yeah, see you there. That's how it goes. So, welcome back. So, we're heading to the train station. Uh, Trelawney's contact's just here. I've got a feeling it's the ticket, uh, ticket office guy. Um, so, obviously, he, he has info about when the stagecoaches are coming through. So, we're going to see what he's got to say for himself. I really like Trelawney. Uh, Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. He's a bit of a posh bugger. Scare him off. So we're going to hang back a little bit. Let Trelawney do his speeching. There he goes. Money to be made on the new railroad for those who know which way. Hello, Alden. Mm. Hello, Joe Zah. How have you been? Dandy. <laughs> and you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. We'll take our cue. Right, we're going to pay him Here, for a bit of info. Kind, sir. Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah. If you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the... What did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. <laughs> Discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden. Or should I say... Adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> Jesus, he looked like the child catch it out of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Right, what okay. What the hell was that? <laughs> I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. so blurry? Right, okay. So it looks like we're going after this stagecoach. Come on, girl. 
So we've got a bit of inside information. Let's go and see how good it is. We're going to follow Trelawney. Okay, let's go. This way. Right. I'm not too sure how far it is, but uh, when we're a bit nearer, we will see you there. So welcome back. So this is the spot the guy told us to go. So I think we're going to wait for a stagecoach. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Well, better safe than sorry. What were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do <laughs> I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> And I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. <laughs> right, here we go. There it is. Right on time. Jesus, so it's coming Keep through. Keep your distance so they don't see you. Please leave that gun in its holster for once. <laughs> right, we'll let uh, Trelawney go and do his magic. And then we're going to creep up behind. And uh, try and get it silently. Uh, which is, if you've ever seen my videos, silently isn't my speciality. Usually balls in their appies. But we'll give it a go. I do love my new horse. This is Blanca. Uh, this is like the Arabian horse. I got it from up in the mountains in all the snow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely love her. Right. Let's trail it. So I don't want to get too close. So they're just up there. Is he going to make them stop? Okay then. Ah, oh, right. So he's going to get it out to sing, I think. Right, they're going to stop. Right, let's yep. go down here. Slow it up. Right, let's leave Blanca there. It's getting crouchy position. This is just up here. New Yorkers are freaks and fools who believe Westerners don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. Oh God. Could, could you? It's, it's such a small show. But would you see me something for me? I'm looking for. So we need that guard to go away. Hopefully he'll bugger off in a minute. He's just having a smoke. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. You treat on our sheep. Oh, right, he's moving out. Beauty. Right, let's go around there. He must be going off for a little piss or something. Let's do it. Right, yeah, he's, he's having a waz. Right, go. Right, let's get on Blanca. Let's get out of here. <laughs> he's heard enough. Okay, so we'll leave the uh, stagecoach to leave. Bloody hell, he's definitely got the gift of the gap, hasn't he? Right, so it sounds like they're pulling away. Are they moving off? I think they are. Yeah, there they go, I think. Right, go to Trelawney. It's just up here. 
Yeah. Jesus, that went all right. Nicely done, Arthur. A little finesse for once. <laughs> Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's all good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Right, that wasn't a bad take, was it? Oh, we got a silver medal as well. Uh, so really, I think that was like a little introduction to Alden. And uh, all the goings on at the stagecoach, and there's one in strawberry as well. We can do if we want to earn a bit of money. Um, so yeah, that wasn't bad at all. A bit of money, so uh, go shopping with, buy some new clothes. So I think we'll leave it there for this episode. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, if you did like what you saw and you would consider subscribing, uh, that'd be absolutely bonza. But uh, until the next one, stay safe and take it easy.